We begin every episode at Zen Theater Live. Begin by simply listening to everything you can hear. Make peace with that. Slow down. I had an epiphany, and it was a big epiphany, which is ironic, because it's the biggest common sense of all. I never should have forgotten it. If you can't solve a problem now, don't stress out about it, because if you ever get a free time to solve that imaginary problem, by that time it might not be a problem. So here I am. Yes, my life is tragic and sad, but I'm also never been happier. Paradoxically, tragically, ironically, triumphantly, and it's all what I believe. Yes, some things are sad, some things are great, like nature, loving and cruel, all at the same time. So is there white magic, black magic? I may not know magic, but I can rock the boat a little bit. You gotta give me that. I think I already proved that in the beginning. And maybe that was my ultimate goal all along. Maybe that is a component of what it means to be the great fairy queen, the imaginary goddess who could solve what your God pretends to solve while committing tax evasion. But that is a political conspiracy theory. There is no business here. So why are we here? This is the Goodfellas Barber Shop. And it's like, Bennett, you don't really work. Why are you going to a place that has $30 haircuts? Well, I only got one once, but because of the kindness and the welcoming, like, yeah, you can't stay in our lobby, but we still have a playground. You can wait for your food outside. The best way to be safe is to be inclusive. Invite friend and foe alike. Keep an eye on each other. Talk to each other. I told someone honestly, someone I began to suspect was kind of involved in the whole like Bennett acting dramatic thing, if you know what I'm talking about. And I told him no matter what's going on, there's not one disagreement in my life that I could not solve peacefully, which means start at peace when you think of it and imagine what would work best for everybody. And the truth is, and this is the ugly truth that nobody wants to see, is that sometimes when life is so rough, ironically, the bad guys are the good guys. So here I am, and we are going to start. Do you want to do two player? I can help with that. So for the first match, I want to tell you what my game plan for the day though, no more Manat. I'm going to be kind, gentle. I'm going to be Manat. I'm going to be Colleen, Colleen, Ice Princess, in a witch uniform as it should be. The witches will speak, the penguins will speak on behalf of the saints, wizards, ghost poets, and especially the ghosts. So I'm gonna be gentle, I'm gonna parry and learn how to parry from the bottom to the top. But here's the swing, here's the catch. If you know anything about Street Fighter V, my reign of terror in the minor leagues must be stopped. Meaning, I dare you to create an innocent Smurf account. It's an account designed to take me down every chance you get. So as, as you watch me do my unimpressive wins streak, I beaten low tier God and I made him smile when I did it. I said, random sweep. I reclaimed it as a term of empowerment. Monat can be random with their sweeps because the ball coming back kind of covers it, doesn't it? It's not quote unquote safe, but unlike you rush down Ken players, no offense because I just befriended one. Word spreads when you're spreading it yourself, you know, the good news, wink, wink. Who would spread good news? That's right. McGruber with the help of Vicky Saint Elmo. God is good. Hashtag bless. Let's do this.
You won't need 12 to understand the situation, my friend. You've never played against anything like what I'm about to do to you. Even suggesting versus 12 was a good idea. <laughs> they think I'm bluffing, but I'm just going to choose the not. I was going to choose Colleen for fun, but you've lost your Colleen privileges. Oh, that was an accident. I'm not trying to. Okay, hang on. It would be better if you guys like kept your own controllers charged, then you wouldn't create these complications. All right, um, three rounds. Versus mode isn't first to 12. We just play and we, if we're still liking each other, we play again. Okay, that never happened with my brother, so I hope you do better. Okay. All right, we're pushing match. All right. Um, yeah, what's, what's wrong? I'm pushing the match. Oh, we have to do it in the same. This speed is tricky. Take your time. You have the choice of any character in the game, plus costume and move selection. So take your time. Don't rush through it. Who's your favorite character? Do you know? Kane is my favorite character. Come on, let's go. Kanjuki Beach, always. It's hated. It's the best. Um... I'm going to show mercy and do what I wanted to do all along. Blanca, yes, if you do. All right. Do you want my, like, tech? Okay. If I do Colleen first, you have to beat my Monat or else you didn't do it. I'll start with Colleen. Let's see how this goes. Okay. I was offering him, like, a truce, but Monat's my girl. Monat is always. Well, I... You're the wrong costume. You have to do story costume. Back, back out of it. Story costume. You'll trust me, it's better. Back out. Story. Story. Upgrade. I just, I saved your soul right there. Just by, no, no, no. No. You want to be fierce. But I invite you to be fun. I'm choosing the fun character. You choose the fun character. It's a choice I leave to you. Story mode is better. It's the hated. Do you not have fun? Are you not silly? Psychology and video games are closely connected as Ender's Game knew in the 80s. Um, I'm, I'm using the technical block and drop ice balls on him, girl. I'm just going to drop ice balls on him for fun. Oh, look, look, look. He caved. This is a fun, friendly game now. He, ironically, what you should know, you've chosen wisely because kids can win with Blanca, but experts can win better. It's a brilliant choice. I love Blanca, and I help you choose the best costume. So we have reached what pirates would say is an accord, but it's parlay. We're seeing who controls the pirate ship. Does the, the new challenger, will he beat me? Well, I have to choose the witch costume because the witches will always speak on behalf of people like me. The people not quite able to speak on behalf of ourselves. Disadvantaged people who need Colleen and the witch cut. Okay, fast scratch that. I saw the swimsuit. I found the swimsuit. I got it. A swimsuit is like a witch costume upgraded. Gender equality, girl hypothesis. Hashtag girl hypothesis. For serious. Peace between all peoples and extra peace between guy friends and girlfriends. Always. Call. For serious. All right. Um, with Colleen, two, two. You're going down. He has no chance. Let's see if my prophecy is correct. Um, No offense, but you have no chance. <laughs> Ken's a rushed out character. You get in their face and nonsense, and he knows the mix-ups. They criticize him for having a flow chart.
I'm good, Ray. Tell the tell your first impressions. The the YouTube can hear you. Say what you think of Ray. It's okay to tell you what you think of me. Alright, let's have some fun. It's strategy, it's not just buttons. <laughs> you want to watch my how far I can take my win streak? Well, let me change characters because I'm too good with them. How about Chun Li? Do you think you can beat Chun Li? Can you can beat Chun Li? Uh, play again, characters I want to stick with Kanzu PB. It's the most hated beautiful stage in the game. Online people think Kanzuki Beach will solve their mental problems, but no. They can solve they can solve their own mental problems. I'm not gonna be Colleen again. That was that no offense, but that was too easy. Um, hey. Okay, Rose is powerful, but I'm I don't got the hang of her. So this will not be impressive. What? It doesn't come with Rose. I'll buy you guys Rose when I get the fight money. Um, Luke. I can't be Luke. Okay, we need fight money in this barbershop. Um, well, to have for him to have fun, how about someone amazing who I'm really, really bad at? Ah, <laughs> <fun? laughs> <laughs> So, gender equality, like Ibuki shows more skin in the sporty costume than the um, swimsuit, but if you really care about someone, whether you're involved or not, like, guys and girls should be friends always. Right, you're in trouble. I'm inspired to learn Ibuki on the fly. Good luck, have fun. May the hand of the great fairy queen be with you. Good luck, have fun. Don't mind us, we're just in a, this is live to YouTube, so don't be too, pause, rain delay. Good. Back to one player, professional mode. All right, I got this. Um, Sir, I don't wanna, my goal is to be exact, I'm not trying to be nuisance, I'm telling you something so I'm less of a nuisance. Just know that it's live streaming on the phone, just because I'm going like a super count on Street Fighter 5. So just say whatever you have to say, but in a nice way. Like instead of saying, sir, you gotta go, say, how about the wait under the tree for 30 minutes while I finish my haircut? You know, if you have a problem with my inane banter or anything about me. That was a good pep talk. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we have to go to one player after we gain control of the television. Um, and he, that's the problem with two player games. He took over and oh, uh, that controller you used to turn it off, can you hand it to me so I can fix it? Got it. Oh, okay, so this is great listening. You listen, and then you listen again. And if you do that enough, you get silent. That's when you hear things. This is listening mode. I'm switching to listening mode. I'll comment quietly if it's very important. Understand the difference. No more improvised comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, that was stressful because I felt like I lost control, but I had control the whole time. I'm just not used to these PlayStation buttons, so it's frustrating sometimes. We have a new guest. He's um, he has some very taste. How do you describe that? Like dreadlocks, but slicked back, like Al Pacino dreadlocks. Like, what's your current style and what's your goal today? You have braids. For you, is it like kind of like embracing Tacoma thing, or is it like proud people in the 70s thing? Uh, like, uh, it resonates with you, but you're not sure why yet. You're learning more about yourself every day. Well, let me just tell you why I'm so curious. I was shocked the first time I got a haircut here because they gave me a fade. Not that it was bad. I got lots of comments like they squint and they're like, that actually looks really good. And it did, but that's the problem. The shade is not my style. I'm like more of a shadow fade guy. Why? Because it'll leave my hair lower, you know? I've always been comfortable with that. So it's too much of a shock. Like it, it's a good style, but it's not my style. That's my haircut speech. What you should know about what's going on is I'm switching to Colleen. So I'm going to battle something. Instead of using my best characters at the top, I'm on a 10 game win streak. I'm going to choose the witchy, gentle character, and I'm going to block until I figure out this whole parry thing. I'm going to use my win streak as parry practice, making fight money, and I will shut up now. Because listening, I think, is going to be the... That's this show's hidden weapon. If I just shut up, if you say something, just remember it's public. But if you say something natural, that might be the true magic of the show, when I talk less and you talk more. But that having been said, let's yeah, see how you No, um, only when you want to win. Yeah. O- only when you want to win. If you want to beat me, then we will play. But it's a, it's a more disturbing game. You have to grant that. More blood. At Street Fighter, everyone is breathing at the end. Everyone is a friend. They're practicing their Kung Fu in Street Fighter, not their murder use skills. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some setup required. I gotta make sure I can go online. I want to do Skies of Honor today. So even if the witchy costume and I'm in a witchy mood, why? Witchcraft saved my life when Christianity turned a blind eye. But I'm willing to forgive. I think everyone should be peaceful, even with the Jewish people. But that's a story for another day. If you're even still paying attention, which I doubt, because I'm not sure. There's zero viewers right now. You're still ignoring me in my mind. Even after all I've shown you. It's a weird place to be at. Weird. Halloween. Holiday. I don't want holiday. I want Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> All right. Now what's happening is it's searching the web. Why? There's lots of people wanting to play, but it has to be someone's suitable skill level. There's other algorithm considerations. But that's the beauty of Street Fighter Five. Every time you win, you have a break. So, yeah, I should I have to be quiet today the break? Did I interrupt anything with that outburst? I was sensing I wasn't. I, I felt like I was contributing, not taking away. How's my battery life? 20 minutes. My first match. Now, either win streak is at 11 or someone else played, but my official win streak is 11, even if they erase it because they are allowed. This is the Barbershop Quartet account, bitch. Meaning anyone can use it. So the win streak is what I say it is. 
This is a rookie jury versus a sometimes diamond monarch, meaning I can beat celebrities once in a blue moon. And most of the time I lose to them in a way that's fun and I learn from. So either way, it's not who wins or loses, it's how who plays the game. God is gonna shake bless. Good luck, have fun. May the best player today win. Friendly competition in the skies of honor, the most distracting scene of the game because it's the most beautiful scene. My win streak is officially 12. It's at 12 right now, officially. This is exciting. This guy knows how to play. So I could end the win streak here and start again. Either way, I'll try my best. I'll focus. For the record, I know this is making excuses now, but I have the opposite skills that I wanted. I have I wanted two two and I got one one. So input error typo. Take it with a grain of salt because I can still I can still know how to use both. But I really want to be still too because it's vicious. That was strategy in the moment. So it was either luck or brilliance fast. Oh, just going smalls. Oh, that's the best way to tell me this. Shut up. Like, say, you're killing me, smalls. Because then I feel like you like me, but you're still trying to be like, whoa, stop that. So I won as I thought I would, but that was much harder than you might have realized because that's... That was a very talented beginner, if that's what I was. Maybe that was an innocent Smurf. He, we might have been two innocent Smurfs meeting on the road. <laughs> that guy's good. I can tell someone who knows how to play when I meet one. I also know someone who's too busy to rematch. <laughs> I think I like that more than you did. 
Oh, you were saying my name. Did, 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 did you have any questions or concerns? How am I doing so far? Oh, um, on camera, in a barber shop, just say, if you're mad at me, you're killing me, Smalls, and get increasingly, increasingly serious. Like, you gotta go. You're killing me, Smalls. Something like that. But if you want to, like, talk like normal humans about, like, grade school and stuff, it's Bennett Herbison. Oh. Well, I don't want to do any more Colleen, though. I'm scared straight. Okay, one more Colleen, but I got to retreat to, to Manat. If people... Yesterday, no offense, but I played against a lot of beginners, I think, because it was a really easy. But that last person, it's like, whoa, maybe there are some people who end this win streak. So in that situation, I would prefer Manat. Why not? All right, this is Colleen versus Ryu. With Ryu, they beefed him up enough where he can be kind of aggressive, but still defensive. So I don't really have a game plan with Colleen, and that's part of the problem. With Manat, I would just soul spiral in the first moment to go through his fireball and knock him out. Just to know him that, you know, my guess is better than your safe guess. Biatch. <laughs> with all due respect, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm as scared as you are. Let's see what, how this goes. I'm going to play defensively because I don't know what to expect from a Ryu. Ryus can go any direction. They're crazy. Good luck. Have fun. Um, I'll let you do your own analysis. I'll just say that was a more complicated series of failures than you might have realized. I'm off to a good comeback start if that's what this is. At this point, I probably have more confidence than him because after I figured out the pattern, I did pretty good in round two. Win streak over tragedy, but a good match to get me there. I enjoyed that match. So let's start at zero and maybe switch to Manat 
if I want to brag about how amazing I am at, against the rookies. There are some good rookies out there like me. Go figure. A rookie that runs scared. That's a moral victory. He's like, shoot, this guy knows how to play. All right, we'll give us some space. I'm going to switch to Mana. Or... Maybe Blanca. Maybe I'll refine my Blanca skills. No need to decide right now. So I had mixed feelings about that decision. I wanted to play as Minot so bad, but then I realized I get your hopes up for Blanca. And once I experience the comfort of Minot's protection, I won't want to go back to Blanca. So I'm doing Blanca while I have the willpower. Another complication is that, hey, this is a tactical New, like you guys are the owners of the TV show, right? I'm like the guy you're tolerating. Do you prefer we do part one and part two and I go get food? Or do you have like saltine crackers that tide me over so I don't have to like fast and play at the same time? Do you want to do part one and part two and I go get my food or do you want to give me a cracker or something? If you have a cracker to spare, I can do an uninterrupted episode which has some benefits. All right, they say they have no crackers. So when I get hungry, I must get my own food. But apart from that, I could come back, but I'll, I'll sense the vibe. Do they want me to come back? That's a complicating factor. But if you wanted to swing my Tacoma to play against me, to challenge me in person, hopefully they would want me to come back. So when you're starting a new series in a business you don't own, you have to tread carefully, very carefully. Anyway, Blanc is really powerful in the hands of a beginner or an expert. So I'm somewhere in between, so this batch will be somewhere in between. Good luck, Evan. Another Ryu. They're like the chameleons. They can do anything they want. It's crazy. I like that. That was fun. That was fun. Maybe I will beg fans for food. Send pizza to the Goodfellas Barbershop. We will share. It's not going to work. I was bluffing. Does anyone want to hear a conspiracy theory? No, no, no. Okay, too crazy, huh? What if a crazy person got 
got like abused and abused and witnessed the conspiracy. <laughs> Well, you know, the crazy person is traumatized, but, you know, people who witness violence and crime, they're also traumatized. So which crazies are the crazies? Which ones have a story to tell that's true? Backed by a law school education. A, a beautiful mind. Well, autism, it means I'm disabled, but in some ways I think differently. And we'll leave it at that. But like this is kind of impressive, right? Then advertising your store on YouTube live, mm-hmm. giving them tips about how to be a better sport and rematch me even though there's a little lag. The lag is because we're in a better place than you are. We're the community center for the coronavirus. The barber shop lets people play Street Fighter V as long as they buy their own food. But once we cooperate and like put our money together for Ritz crackers or something, sure we can work something out going forward unless they kick me out for my obnoxious commentary. So with that, I'm going to go back to Minaj in a different costume. The swimsuit is too good. I'll show you something different. God is good. Hashtag blessed. I can't tell if the drama is in my own mind or any, anymore because when like, I get Sandy on the phone, she abruptly disconnects and does not call back. But I thought she was a nice person. Doesn't she realize that getting beaten up is a big deal? Maybe a bigger deal than movie quotes. I changed my vote. It is now not unlikely that Sandy did not know nothing. And I stand by that logic, even though I'm not sure I said it right. I always wanted to try Manat. Professional is um, like a French maid. Felicia's the cat, like by Felicia. <gasps> it's a coffee shop. Maybe we should do Felicia. So when they're done with me, they could be like, by Felicia. Okay, that's the coffee shop mascot. When they want to be like professional street fighter, we'll play as Felicia because we'll remember by Felicia, the cat character. But I wanted to do the Egyptian one like the Bishop of Moes, Saint Serapion Bishop of Moes. She has an Egyptian costume and I want to do it and I'm sticking with that because I just said it. Now, the one innovation I'm introducing into my own game plan is I like the wisdom where you're all eight balls and you can use them, but some of them don't work too well unless you like are patient and something. The cool thing about Street Fighter V is for everything the developers, there's a route to use it effectively as like a first grader. And then there's like a kind of frustrating, complicated way to take it to the next level. And in a lot of ways, I took B skill trigger one. You know, I've learned a lot about it. But now I just want to have fun. So I'm going to use like the rapid fire machine gun random style of the second one, which is why I think it was invented all along. So just keep, keep, keep my tactical decisions in mind when you decide whether this is the the best I have to offer or whether I could win in a rematch, maybe. I don't want to put my status as like a professional killer on the line. I'm a, I'm a win streak ender. I'm like the southpaw reliever. I'm the person who played for years and knows more than you say when you put me down. Southpaw reliever. Okay, but this is Luke. So he has more characters than I do. Show respect to Luke. He's got some speedy fireball bullets, but I'll still probably win. That's my vote. What do you think? Sound off in the comments. Ha ha. So it's weird to talk to yourself in an unpopular video because I'm literally talking to myself, but it's like also a historical record. 
What if like 50 years from now I become famous? They might be curious what I said on the day things changed. I fought so hard for justice. So this, this one might not be the best speed trigger, but it charges back. So I'll just start like, as soon as I get it, taste fireballs. This is machine gun or not. But this is the new character, the final character of the game, the hint at what Street Fighter VI has in store. And he's just like a little too overpowered in an annoying way. So we'll see how that goes. You know how to play Street Fighter? No response? Okay. In my life, like, even the polite people are mean to me, so I can't tell the difference between, like, you know, mean people and polite people who win. Like, everyone's mean to me, not just the polite people. I'm not sure who's gonna win this, but I hope it's me. Cloudy with the chance of soul storm. Good, good game. Whoa. So 
So when people ask questions and you just ignore them, it could agitate someone who's worried about this sort of thing. Like, do they hate me? And then it's like, I don't even know because they don't answer. It. It's like, you could further distress a sad person. But not me, because I've learned to adapt. I forgot about the machine gun timing because I don't know how that character works yet. On the other hand, I did something reckless that I didn't need to do. I'm just, uh, you know. Why do you ignore me when I ask a question and then you like talk about me in front of me? Like I'm not included in the conversation, but then I'm all you talk about. Like how does that work in your civilization, if you call it that? Well, you're talking about Street Fighter, you're talking about Bennett, but then when I ask a question, you like pretend I don't exist. I'm Bennett. No, like, when I ask questions, like, do you play Street Fighter or don't you? Like, you just get quiet, like, how dare you speak to me? Maybe because we didn't hear what you said, we can't understand what you said. I have misunderstandings like this all the time. I have misunderstandings all the time. I hear what, I hear you. Sounds good. We gotta focus on being quiet and playing the game. Game plan shift.
quieter is better for my focus and their peace of mind. When there's agitation, get quieter. Agitation, get quieter. there but not for the reason you think. We don't have any crackers and I have a carbohydrate shortage so for survival reasons and also there's YouTube technical reasons. This decision in a live video there's tactical decisions you make along the way. For example it's going to be easier to upload and preserve if I ended it an hour. And if they still like me, begin it again with a tummy filled with imitation crab, genuine seafood wrapped in the red stuff. If any of the vegan lovers or the potluck lovers or the banana lovers have a problem with sashimi, what you should do is you should never sound off in the comments. Never click like. Never click share. Never click subscribe because as long as you obey those four simple restrictions your life will be filled with joy and wonderment just look at yourself how filled with joy and wonderment are you i look at myself and i'm not filled with joy and wonderment at all i'm an empty pit of despair look at me now that would get annoying so i need to wrap it up before i get too carried away with the spirit hallelujah amen jesus begin by simply listening Slow down, see just how peaceful today can be, and testing their patience strategically. The cops have not yet been called. I consider that a better sign than if they had been called every time you see them. Catch you guys on the flip side. I, oh, yeah, that was my silly side. This is the Goodfellas Barber Shop. They would never call the police, but it's a social etiquette thing. Because sometimes they have guests in the chair, so you have to pretend like you're just like, they don't know what's going on. And how do you deal with that? Well, a social faux pas came up. Somebody committed it. I misinterpreted. If you ask a question, they get silent. That's like, you know, you shouldn't be asking a question. But it's like, what if the question is logical to ask to help everybody? Stuff we need to know. If you reject me systematically and your reasons defy logic, there's a quote from Star Trek, Amok Time, when it's like, come on, Spock, yield to the logic of the situation. I never ask people to yield to me. I always yield to them. But sometimes I do request that they consider the facts. And if those facts support a certain course of action, then perhaps they should yield to the logic of the situation. That reminds me of a dear old friend who I will not name this time, but if I ever become closer with them, I might name them then. And that's a promise forever. This was kind of a tragical triumph, wasn't it? I hope like every episode to come, 